This is Nayasa. And this is Sam. <laughs> and that was LD. Listen to our mommy on Red Angel Radio. Hey everybody, it's your girl Red Angel. Make sure to join me this Thursday on Red Angel Radio as I bring you an exclusive interview with Whiteout. Yes, this is Easy Moby's newly signed artist. Easy says he's one of the most compelling artists since B.I.G. And these are Easy Moby's words and he should know. He worked with Tupac, he worked with Biggie. I mean, he gave the sound that helped them take off. So you don't want to miss it. Mwah! Uh, first off, I want to thank you, Whiteout, for joining us here on Red Angel Radio. Um, I know that we have a lot of listeners who may or may not know who you are or have heard of you up until this point, but uh, we're about to make sure that the whole world, they know exactly who you are. Um, do you no want to give everyone just, just a little insight about you, like who you are and where you come from? All right. You know, um... I come from uh, New York, you know what I'm saying? And um, as far as his music, I've been doing music since, uh, well, I've been rhyming since uh, since I was little, you know? Since, uh, you know, junior high, cutting class on the corner, smoking, and everybody just freestyling and all that. But uh, I never took it seriously until uh, about three, three and a half years ago, you know? Um, I did... Uh, I mean, I was always, I was always, you know, I was recording songs and stuff like that, and people were like, yo, you're nice, you're nice, but I never took it that seriously because I was just out doing other things. And then uh, I wound up getting arrested for a couple of things, and uh, I wound up having to go upstate for a little bit. And, and when I finally came home, I realized, you know, I got to do it because when I was up there, there was a lot of people telling me that, you know, I had a talent, I, I should pursue it. And, and seeing people up there on their second bid or their third bid, you know, it's like, you know, I don't want to wind up like this, you know, so I might as well just pursue this music. And if it doesn't work, you know, then we take it from there. But but ever since then, I've just been going hard and it's, it's been taking it off, man. I, I ran into Easy Mo B and, you know, we just started getting it popping. Now we got the contract going and hopefully, you know what I'm saying, hopefully it'll take off. Now, when <laughs> it sounds like, you know, going, you know, upstate was a, um, a blessing and a curse, so to speak, mm -hmm. because sounds like you had time to really sit back and think about everything um, yeah. in regards to your future, your past, you know, where you are right now. When mm. you, when you, when you got out and you, you decided, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take this serious. Like, did you have an epiphany where you just sitting there one day and you were, you know, rhyming, you know, spitting? Yeah. Well, well you know, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was definitely, it, it, it was definitely a collaboration of things, you know, uh, uh, it, it was, it was uh, multiple epiphanies because, you know, dudes like myself, we have epiphanies every day, you know, but we're just so caught up in what we're doing that it just doesn't, you know, the next day we just go right back to doing what we know, you know what I'm saying, and and, and that's what it is. So it had to be a multiple of things, and, and actually when I was upstate, we were, uh, I had to do a program called ASAT, which is a program that you have to do while you're in prison in order to, to make parole. So uh, I did that program, and we were in the shower, you know, dudes on the break of ASAP, you go in the shower, you know, whatever, you smoke your cigarettes, whatever, and uh, we were just rhyming. And the lady that ran the program happened to hear me rhyming, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and right before we went back to the program, she pulled me aside. And this is some upstate, you know, lady. She don't know nothing about no kind of rap or nothing, you know what I'm saying? And and she just came up to me and she was like, did you, did, did you write that yourself? Is that yours? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, my God, that's amazing. She's like, uh, we... we you know, there's like a, a, a poetry thing that, that uh, like a poetry class, which is really just bullshit, to be honest with you. Can I curse? Yeah, you can. It's can internet. I? Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> all right. No <laughs> doubt. So, uh, <laughs> so, you know, and, and, and the dude that originally taught it was, uh, was, was about to go home. You know, and, and music to me, music to me is, yeah, it's poetry, you know what I'm saying, because it comes from the heart. And she was like, w w would you like to teach the class? And I told her, I was like, you know, I don't know nothing about poetry, you know what I'm saying? I just rhyme. She's like, oh, don't even worry about it, just whatever, da, da, da. So I wound up, like, just going in there for, like, one or two classes teaching. They call it teaching, but we, really we were just in there, whatever, writing books are just rhyming, really. But, you know, and that looked good, and that looked good for the parole board, which helped me get home. But at the same time, that helped me realize that, wow, this this lady that doesn't know anything about rap, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. just heard me rhyming and, 
immediately was like, will, will you teach a, a, a poetry class? You know, it, it hit her like that. And I was like, if I could connect with her like that, you know what I'm saying? Then why why can't I connect with, with, with everybody? I mean, it's easy for me to connect with, you know, other prisoners and stuff like that because this is what we do. This is who we are. But, but to connect to somebody that's outside of that, that 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 was the the major epiphany that I had, and that is really what drove me. Like, all right, I got to get home and I got to do this, you know. Right now, it sounds like now I can honestly, I can one hundred percent understand what it is that you're saying because when I, you know, first off, when people hear the name Whiteout, what's spelled W H Y T E O U T, I mean, they see the picture, you know, who they're gonna think about automatically which is, yeah. okay, you know, this dude is going to sound like Eminem, you know, what can yeah. he do, you know, you, you, all of those things. Then when you hit play, it is one of the most unbelievable things any person can experience because you're able to, you reach people with your words. If they really take the time and they listen to what it is that you're saying and the stories that you're yeah. telling, People in some way can relate, not just those who were ever in prison, not just those who were right. in the street, but everyone has gone through something. So in right. my mind, that leads me to believe you you obviously have a gift and a way of, of communicating, but in your words, what do you think makes you different from all other hip-hop artists that are out there? Oh, oh that's, that's, I love this question. That's an easy one. And, and and it could, and it could come back to what's wrong with hip hop and, and and what makes what makes me different from them is that it comes from the heart and 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 nowadays dudes are scared to do that you know you have you have the down south movement which a lot of people hate on me personally I I, I listen to some down south not much but but I don't hate on it that's you know down south if you go down south I've never been down there but I hear you know that's how they move down there you know you get a song like you know whatever the new South joint is on the radio. You know, that's kind of how they move down there. But when you get a dude from New York spitting like he's from down South, now that's where hip-hop messed up. You know what I'm saying? Because because yeah. people pe people are scared to come from the heart and speak about who, who they really are. And me, I I, I, I will forever do that. that. That's something that I will forever do. I don't care what the biggest thing is. I don't care what the newest thing is. I just keep it real with myself because at the end of the day, this is something that I, I, I love to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you give a lot of these hip-hop artists a crystal ball and you tell them, listen, you're never going to make it in hip-hop, they're going to stop making music, most of them. They're going to stop making music because they're never going to be successful at it. Me, I won't. I'm going to still be hitting the studio because this is just this is just honestly what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? This is this is peace of mind for me. It's freedom. It's, it's how I express myself without, you know, doing the wrong thing. And, and it's just... It's, that That's without a doubt what separates me from most of the artists out there. Okay. Now, you being signed to Easy Moby, you know, he's a, he's one of the pioneers as far as hip-hop, especially that sound of hip-hop, late 80s, early 90s. I'm talking, you know, he, when I think of, of Biggie, I mm -hmm. think of Easy Moby, one in the same, right. because he brought that music to it, and he was able to allow Biggie to express himself as well as Tupac. Now, you... Mm -hmm. Having that natural talent and you having that voice and that ability to, to speak to so many and then having Easy Moby right there with you, what does that feel like? Because, I mean, cats are trying to, you know, get at him and, and you got these artists who, who, are, who are coming up and, and they want they want to work with him. But, I mean, you and he, you're right there with him. What does that feel like? The is uh it feels amazing, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to know that something, you know, that I'm doing positively, you know what I'm saying, has been able to connect with somebody that's been in it for so long. It's just such a legend, man, and it's like, and when, and when I kick it with him, it's like <clears throat> the, the the generation gap, when I'm kicking it with Easy, man, it's, it just disappears. I mean, we're just, we're just both artists, and we're just on the same level. So at the same time, it amazes me, but at the same time, it just feels right, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like... It, it, it almost feels like this is what this is what should be going down. You know what I'm saying? But without a doubt, it, it, if I when I fall back and I think about it and I look at it from the outside looking in, yeah, that, that shit blows my mind. You know? Wow. Um, well, it sounds like you know you definitely you look up to him. Uh, from, yeah, I definitely you know, do. Yeah. So, is there anyone else you know in the industry that you look up to? Oh yeah. The, the, uh, <laughs> actually, it's kind of funny because. Uh, Ever since I was little, so I've always been about uh, 